Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I talk anything reselling, whether it's thrift hauls to posh tips and everything in between. So I hope that you enjoy today's video. Today we're going to do a posh tip. One that I use religiously every single week, twice a week, to help move things in my closet and also freshen them up. What I'm talking about is closet clear out. Nobody enjoys closet clear out. Everyone's like, oh my goodness. I know when I started, I did closet clear out, but I kept reducing my items and I was losing lots of money and it wasn't making any sense. So then I stopped and I stopped for a very long time. I decided like, I was like, this isn't working for me. I'm not gonna reduce my closet like that. That's not gonna work. But then I also wasn't seeing any sales and as a result. So then I reevaluated the great purpose of it. And I realized that I can participate. And then I just got to relist it. I got to do that extra effort and I got to relist the items. That takes a long time. But in the summer, Poshmark released the copy feature and you can copy your listing. Now, at first you could copy every and any listing and it worked in your favor. Now it has to be 60 one days old or older, not 60, but 61 days old and older to make sense to use the copy feature because then it bumps it up to just in. Now, if you relist something that's not for 61 days old, it starts over, but it starts over at the bottom. So you got to really be mindful when you're doing that. Now you're like, well, how am I going to know that my item is 61 days or older? What you do is you use your, your seller tools. So you go into seller tools and then you ask for my inventory report and it emails you your inventory report and it starts with the oldest item first and goes down. I find this is extremely helpful when I'm really trying to revamp my closet and get things moving again. The way I use both these features together and I'll actually download my inventory report and then I will cross-reference what I'm trying to clear out on that day and I will reduce the price so that on the following day or six hours later when I copy it, it's now just in. This is an accountability thing for me so that I'll actually relist some stuff and also it's an opportunity to actually try to sell it and if it doesn't sell, oh well, because those likers aren't buyers, they're simply just window shopping. So I wanted to give you kind of like a tutorial and I'm going to use my tablet since it operates as a larger phone. So there's the app. We got this really cute peplum. <laughs> All right. So come along. So you're going to go into the little character guy here and you're going to go scroll down to my seller tools. That's going to load this screen here. You're going to go to my inventory report and it's going to email you your report so it's been emailed to me that's when you can go in open your email all right and you're going to get an email like this your inventory your poshmark inventory report and you're going to click download report this is going to i don't know why but open it up in a web browser you're gonna go on and you're gonna log in and it's going to start the download so it'll download and you'll see it down here oh stop shaking and it'll download and you'll see it down here click open and it will ooh, what was I looking up oh I think this was cottage core <laughs> And it'll open up like this. Now this is what I was talking about before, where you'll know how long it's been listed. So these items have been listed for quite some time. This one here is actually an item that I have multiple uh, multiples of, so it has sold. But because it has sold, I can't delete that listing. So I just kept that listing active. But I have relisted it since. So now there's two of them. I don't know. Anyway, so you'll go down and you'll notice, you know, 130, whichever days, and then you get down to, sixty-one. Okay, we don't want sixty. Sixty is no good. 
60 will not relist it. And now you have to wait another additional 60 days for it to get back up to just in. Now, how is this helpful? So what I will do, I will go into my closet. All right. And I will flip back and forth between the two screens for educational purposes. I've opened them up like this. This isn't really how I do it because I'm not typically on my tablet. I'm on my phone, but anywho, so what you can do is kind of go through here and figure out, okay, so we've got the Arden red patterned dress. So I would go in here, brand Arden. And this is the dress is talking about. Obviously, I'm not going to drop the price on this one because it's $15. But I tend to put a heart to remind me to go back to it later that it does need to get relisted. Next, we have Jones Wear. So again, we go in here. We change this to Jones Wear. Here's the colorful abstract. Okay, it's 25. I will still drop the price even if there's no likes, simply because anybody who is, you know, perusing on Poshmark will still get a notification if they click on your thing. Uh, so you could do 22. Usually for closet clear out, I'll drop it to 20% and then list it. And now you can see it is dropped by 20%. And those who are shopping your closet will have access to the reduced shipping. Now, once the six hours is up, what I do, or, or the next day, sometimes I just wait to the next day because it's typically a love it or list it challenge. Make this easy to find because obviously I'm not going to remember every single item I listed. We're going to go in to recently price dropped. It's going to show me, oh, I dropped the price on this one. Go in, copy my listing, and then make sure to delete that part where it says copy and update the price back to where it was. Then you're going to list it and you're done. Make sure that you delete this one. So you're doing closet clear out, you're using your seller inventory report. And you're making sure to use the copy feature so that you can refresh your listings that don't end up selling. So hopefully that helps you. I know Closet Clear It is super controversial because we're always cutting into our bottom line. But if you account for it when you're listing, it won't be such a blow to your bottom line. And hopefully it sells. And if it doesn't sell, it's getting a refresh on life. I can't tell you the amount of times that I have relisted after a Closet Clear Out and they sell the next day. These are items that have been sitting in my closet. Literally nothing has changed. I don't change anything. Sometimes I'll even add extra dollars because I'm like, wait a second, when I reduced it, it was a little too low for me. So I'm thinking about the next time I got to reduce it. And it's, I don't know, it's magic. And you can do that on a tablet, on your phone, on the computer, all the steps remain the same. And finding everything, it gets sent to your email, all that fun stuff. It's really cool and effective. Oh, one final tip. Just in this Excel sheet, if you go to the little dots, I don't know how it looks on a computer. I don't do this on a computer. You go into the little dot. There's a thing that says find or replace. You type in keywords. So say you want to drop all of the prices on certain brands. Let's say Tord, for example. Because it wouldn't be me if I didn't say Torrid. So I'll type in Torrid and I will go through and find every single Torrid piece that is 61 days or older and I'll drop the price. I find that that's really easy for me. I find going in order boring, but maybe it would work better and I wouldn't have 100 plus day old items. So hopefully this helps. And I'm currently working on a massive haul video. I'll probably put it in a two part. It's just a video about how to source like from a collective space. Keep an eye out for that and I will see you next Wednesday. Thank you. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, watch my other videos.